Today was the launch of Maryland Dove. Um, starting this morning, uh, moved the crane in, uh, and then um, a sort of a fairly long process of getting everything set up. Part of that is, you know, making sure everything's safe, making sure our weather parameters are, uh, are you know, fit the bill. And then uh, boat got picked up and then moved laterally across the yard, and uh, now we're standing on a, a float in Maryland Dove. The tens of thousands of hours that have gone into this, it's, uh, it's kind of, uh, it's hard to fathom, you know, in a lot of ways. And it's really cool to see, you know, something that's taken this long and so many people to accomplish. You know, I think it's really, really beneficial for the community. You know, seeing all the people that showed up to support what's going on, I think that's, uh, speaks testaments to what we're doing here. It's uh, it's quite an accomplishment for the museum and you know everybody who's helped build and you know volunteered and you know supported the project it's uh, it's quite quite a feat. You know Joe had a punch list of things that he wanted to get done. Um, all of it is you know the boat was ready to I'd say the boat was ready to go in the water a couple weeks ago. But a lot of the final items that Joe was making sure got done are ones that are easier to do with the boat out of the water versus a boat in the water. Uh, according to the scale on the crane, uh, about, it was 94,000 pounds. Now that being said, there's still a lot more to be added to the boat. So that is the, what we call the dry weight of the boat. So um, all the lumber is uh, relatively dry in moisture. Um, and then um, we still need to install the mechanical weight, the rigging, uh, fill tankage um, and all the sort of little bits and pieces that add up so you know there's a significant amount of weight still being added to the boat um, which also includes interior ballasting so adding weight to the interior of the boat to generate stability and uh, fore and aft on the water line so um, we'll uh, she'll, she'll change the way the way it's sitting for uh, over the next couple months. I feel really good you know it's it's funny how when you frame things in different perspectives like I had a longtime member of the museum walk by the other day and was like you know the biggest boat new build boat that this shop has built before this was volunteer and volunteer is like a 23 foot crab scrape that takes up about as much wood as like this four deck section so it's very small put it in that perspective and it's like wow it's like it's pretty amazing Somebody else mentioned that the last boat of this size to be launched in St. Michael's Harbor was in 1904. Um, so this little town's gone, you know, 118 years before something this size has been launched. So, you know, it feels really good. We're, we are keeping it alive. I think we're, you know, holding true to the mission of what we set out to do and it feels good.